Okay, open the map editor and then um, run pumpkin paster. It will ask you to choose the directories the first time you load it, but I've already done that. So here it goes to the welcome screen. Now in pumpkin paster, I load the map that I want to edit, which is map zero in this case. So here, map zero will come up, but you'll notice that pumpkin paster has actually copied map zero into slot 63 here so that you don't risk messing up your, your actual map. So what I'm going to do first, um, I want to scan an area of this map into a brush. So I push pumpkin paster scan region button. It'll ask me to hold control and do some clicking. So I'll hold control and kick, click in the upper left and then the lower right. Now that scans it into the brush, which you can see just popped on the screen. Now that brush isn't permanently placed until I tell it to, until I save the map over here. So I can hold down control and place that anywhere I want it on the map, and it'll move it around. Now it's also worth noting that it, Pumpkin Paster doesn't just copy the map pieces, it also copies the items, enemies, etc. in that scanned region. So I'll push the activity button here and you can see these two little green dots which I think are arrow traps are moving around with the, the scanned region. So say I wanted to make a third room here there I can just dock it. Now this like I said this is not permanently placed on there until I push the save map button in pumpkin paster. Now it's it's fixed in there. If I hold control and I click again, you'll see a new one appears and the old one is, is permanently placed there. So I can do this as many times as I want. I'll save again. And as you can see, okay, this window pops up as an error sometime, the choose map window. When that happens, I just push back and go on. It has to do with hard drive writing speeds, I believe, Pumpkin Paster's designer said. So we don't need to worry about that. Just go back if that pops up. Um, you, it makes Pumpkin Paster lets you make repetitive rooms very easily like this. Now, in addition to just copying, you can rotate the brush. So I'll push the here the A and the S keys, rotate counterclockwise, clockwise, and you can see the pieces rotating here. So I can rotate my brush and I can dock it into some other, some other place on the map. Now in Pumpkin Paster you can save multiple brushes and, and bring them back up whenever you want. So I'll scan the region here, scan this little room, and now see it's on the brush. Now I'll save that brush by pushing the Save Brush button and I'll scan a new region. Oops, scan region. Now you'll notice that the, the scanned area has changed. The brush has changed. So I'll save this brush, brush also. Now I can go back and forth between brushes by pushing the Q or the W button. So you'll see that when I push Q, that's just that error popping up. When I push Q, it goes back and forth between the, it cycles through the saved brushes. In this case, I only have two brushes saved, so it goes back and forth between them. When it, you save a brush, it's saved on your hard drive, meaning you can bring it back up in a later session, or you can even uh, send it to a friend and share your rooms. Um, it Elevations, items, all that stuff's copied into the brush, so you can make some very complex areas, save them as brushes, and send them around to whoever you want. Okay, now some other helpful features in um, Pumpkin Paster. I'll scan a region here. Notice this region contains some empty um, map grid slots there. So if I have the solid check in Pumpkin Paster, that's just that error popping up, you'll notice that um, the empty spaces are painted over existing map pieces as I move the um, brush around the screen. However, if I check clear, you'll notice that the empty spaces are not rendered over the existing. So this is helpful for copying um, irregularly shaped things without overwriting existing map pieces. Now another feature here is the over and the under button. If it's set to over, the brush, when you place it, will be put on top of existing map pieces. However, if you check under, 
it will be slipped under the, the existing pieces without overriding them at all. So that lets you only fill in the empty map slots without messing up what's there already. Okay, this is about the filters function in Pumpkin Paster. Now you'll notice in this little room here there are two objects and an enemy. So when I copy that into a brush, I scan region, everything in that region is copied, all the parts, but um, if I want to re remove some of those elements when I place the brush on the map, I can uncheck the filters here. So you'll see in the, the brush here, um, the two objects and the enemy are copied. But if I uncheck objects and then control click again, you'll notice that the two objects will not be placed. And the same thing for the enemy. If I uncheck that and control click, they'll be removed from the brush when it's placed on the map. Okay, this is about um, Pumpkin Paster's offset brush tiles feature. Now tiles are is what Pumpkin Paster calls map pieces, what I call map pieces, same difference. So I have this little room here copied into the brush. You can see me moving it around. Now um, the offset interval is set by one now. So if I push the X key, you'll see that the tiles or pieces in the brush shift upward by one piece number, map piece number. They go to the next one above it and so on. I can just keep pushing it and you'll see there that this number over here in Pumpkin Paster is changing. That's how many tiles it's offset by. So that's not terribly useful in some cases but its main um, function is, I'll push the reset here which brings it right back to its original shape. If you set this to 128 it will jump to the next like designed map piece. So I'll show you here on the piece setup. This is the gray first um, map building set there. Gray rooms, gray floors. So now I'll move it up by 128. And you see the look doesn't change in the map editor. But if you go to the piece setup, you'll see the design is shifted up to the next um, map piece type. Now the reason why it works that way, why 128 shifts to a uh, like design, is because if you'll notice, there is 128 different pieces between like sets. The important part about using pumpkin pasters, you have to know how to um, finalize the map that you've edited. So first I'll load a map like you normally would. I'll load map 1 this time. And now I'll edit it in some way. Just, uh, let's see, scan region. In this little room here. That's just that error popping up. I'll push back. And we'll add this room onto the end of the hallway here. And I'll save the changes by pushing the Save Map button. And now this pumpkin paster has copied map 1 that I loaded into slot 63 so that I don't risk messing up map 1 if something goes wrong or if I hit a wrong key. So I need it back in slot 1 though in order to be playable in my final game. So for that I use Sword of Moonlight's Pick Map button. And you'll see there's slot 63. That's the current map that I'm editing. So I'll push copy on it and go way up to back to slot number 1 where it came from and push paste. That'll overwrite the original one that Pumpkin Paster made a cop copied into slot 63 it'll overwrite that with pumpkin pasters edited copy. Hey, now I'll load it in, in um, load that map in pumpkin paster again and you'll see that this room here that I've changed is there where it belongs in slot one. See it's permanently changed there. That's all there is to it.